There we go. And there's the ritual starting. Yep. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Enigmatica 6 Expert Mode. One thing that's super important to mention is that this pack right now is in pre-alpha phase. But I was assured by one of the pack developers that most of the beginning content is finished. So be sure to smash like to keep the series going and subscribe so that you can find the channel again. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Alright, so today what we're going to be working on is going to be Nature's Aura. So we're going to get into Nature's Aura. Uh, before I forget, let's also open up the quest. There we go. It gives us shears. Now we have three sets of shears. Uh, first thing that we need to make are going to be brilliant fibers, which the expert mode recipe requires the enchanting apparatus from Arnabo. Uh, we need sun metal blend and silk fibers, and silk fibers only come from silk moth nests. So these dudes also require the enchanting apparatus, and for that we need string, phytogrow, worms, and nebo drops, and a bee nest. So, uh, since we went to, to Atum already, we mined for a whole long time on stream, had some really good conversations going. We found a couple of Nibu. So let's go ahead and grab the Nibu ore. I would say let's grab all but one. And I believe this stuff can be doubled in the smeltery. So let's drop it into the Tinker smeltery real quick. We can have it doubled over here. Let's go Nibu R. This stuff is just as rare as ancient debris in the nether. It's just as rare. It took about an hour for me to find some. And then like five minutes later, I found another pack. So RNG, right? That's how it works. So Molten Nibu. We'll go ahead and set this guy here. Yeah, to auto pump out the ingot. With that, uh, the next thing that we need to make are going to be worms. So to make worms from Aquaculture 2, we need to make the worm farm from Aquaculture 2. Let's do that. All right, and as far as I know, it works just like the vanilla com composter, composter, imposter. <laughs> Press wheat. Wheat does, but not by hopper, huh? Whoop, we got a worm though. All right, need some drops. Let's head over to the enchanting apparatus. All right, so we need two worms. Two Fido Grow, two String, and two Nibu Drops, and then the Beehive in the middle. There we go. We have our Silk Moth Nest. So I'm not 100% sure how this works. If it spawns Silk Moth, or if we have to break it and it makes a Silk Moth, that I'm not sure. There's a silk moth. There we go. Okay, so should we let these guys pollinate and then shear the silk moth nest, or should we just slay these guys? Let's see if we can get one. Okay, that's good. We have one silk fiber, and I believe that's the only thing. We just need one. We'll let the other one spawn willy-nilly and then see if we can shear the the silk moth nest for it instead of slaying them. Because from what I understand, they work just like uh, the beehives. So brilliant fiber, we need sun metal blend. So we need four silver dust and one sulfur. Let's grab the sulfur and we can grab the silver dust, which I think I have in the pulverizer right now. Pulverizer, yep, there it is. Awesome. So again, one, two, 
One, two, three, four. Is that it? It's not it. it. Oh no, I need to make the sun metal blend first. And there's another silk moth flying around in the background. Hopefully they don't break anything. And sulfur in the middle. That's what it is. There we go. That's the recipe. All right, and now we can do for the brilliant fiber one, two, three, four, and silk fiber. There we go. We have the quest complete for brilliant fiber. I'm really curious about the silk moth, like what it's going to do. Do your thing, buddy. You're pretty cool. I like you. All right, so we have our brilliant fiber from Nature's Aura. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a lot of quests I didn't I didn't accept. Pewter blend, gold, enchanted ash, magma block, stone hands, source fairy, steel, redstone, soul shard, world shaper sextant, melon seeds, and of course they spilled out everywhere. We have more than that. Uh, brilliant fibers, they work just like the silkworms from uh, any kind of sky block. So let's go ahead and infest some of these trees. One, two, three. Maybe that'll spread across all of them. Four. Oh, cool, and all of our rich soil. Uh, all of our organic compost has turned into rich soil. Is that a bee stuck in there, or what is that? What is that? Is that an enchanted item or something? What is this? Refined Radiance from Create? Why is this in the tree? This one is glowing. There we go. Gold leaf. So we have our first piece of gold leaf. Nice, we get more food. Oh, another token of joy. Cool, so we have a token of fear and a token of joy now from quest rewards. All right, our gold leaf. Let's see, is there... We can make it... We can crush it by hand to make two. Wow, to make the wooden stand, we have to use lightning. Living wood wall. Living wood from Batania. Wow, and pure daisies. That's crazy. An even bigger rabbit hole. Alright, it looks like crushing it by hand is our only choice for right now. So we crush it into gold powder. What's crazy is I wanted to make the... Uh, the ritual. The ritual of the forest. We need eight of these dudes, and they're all made with lightning crafting. So we need to make a whole lot of gold inlays, appetite dust, a whole lot of gold leaf. And we have to get into Batania. At least the beginning of Batania with the pure daisy. And the pure daisy is made in the petal apothecary, of course, with a conduit of all things, the conduit. Enchanting apparatus for andesite pedestal, a, a full-on crucible for the petal apothecary, okay. Andesite, this seems doable. So I guess we'll bust open Batania so that we can do the ritual of the forest in nature's aura. So let's check out the Batania chapter real quick. We'll open this guy up. Pestle and Mortar, Mystical Flowers, any botanic Botania Mystical Flowers, okay. So let's sidebar while we wait for these guys to grow some more, because they should spread. Let's find some pure daisies, those should be easy to find. It's the white Mystical Flower. What is that? A soupy bee. Let's steal you. Soupy bee. What does the soupy bee do? Soupy honeycombs? Dude. 
It turns into mushroom stew. Oh, and raw beef. And milk. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so we teleported over to an arcwood forest. Let's grab some of the green one, the flourishing arcwood log. Yoink. We need some of the saplings too. So we can grow them closer to our base. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab all of it, since there's two right next to each other. All right, let's use Magneto for this. Cool. We can also pick up these brown mystical flowers while we're here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and head on back home. I believe I have everything we need for right now. Let's drop this off. We have this. So the first thing that we need to make for uh, getting into Batania is going to be the Petal Apothecary. Uh, I made another crucible, and I made an andesite pedestal, which is simple recipe. So let's head over to our enchanting apparatus from Arnavo, and let's put this guy in here. We need two pewter. We need the pedestal Fido grow, and the crucible grows in the middle. Here's the crucible. Sweet. We have our petal apothecary from Batania going on now as well. Where should we put this guy? How about just right here for now? And I'll move it later on. All right. We found some mystical white flowers, which we can turn into petals. We need four of them. We need a conduit of all things and Fido grow. So let's see. Let's see. We are doing ancient saplings? No. We're making the wooden stands. So we need living wood wa uh, walls, living wood, pure daisies with flourishing arcwood. All right, so four, one, and one. Okay. And our bucket of water. All right, so... There we go. Oh, and I forgot the seeds. It's one of the things I always forget. All right. Boom. There's our pure daisy. Sweet. I'm really happy about that. So we put the pure daisy down, and now we have flourishing arcwood. And this should turn uh, the flourishing arcwood into living wood for us. Flourishing arcwood wood. Oh, my bad. So it actually needs to be turned into another item, the flourishing arcwood wood. There's our particle effects. There we go. There's our living wood. Let's set some more down. And let's see, we need to turn these living wood into living wood walls. And that should be simple enough. Made six right now, and next time we can make another six. We have to start getting gold leaf and we have to get appetite dust. And we have to make a lot of the gold inlay. Wow. So let's see, we have water source in here now. All right, so let's see. We need two and one. QQ. Perfect. There's our arcane gold. So I'm going to make a whole lot of these gold inlays. All right, so the leaves have spread a little bit. I switched out the wood for living wood, and I made a whole lot of these gold inlays. So we have the walls, the appetite, and the gold inlays that we need. Now we just need to harvest a minimum of eight of these leaves. I don't want to cut too many of them down because I do want them to spread. We'll take just as many as we need. Alright, 
There we go. So now we should be able to lightning craft these guys. We'll grab a charged snowball. And we'll zap them. And that should make us all eight of the wooden pedestals that we need to do the ritual of the forest. Charged snowball. There we go. Alright, so let's head over here. Silk, silk moss. It's kind of cool. We got bees and silk moths now. Eight, 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 and eight. There we go. We have our eight wooden stands. So we can progress in uh, nature's aura now. I really do want to make this ancient sapling because this is what replenishes the aura in nature's aura. So what we're going to need is dates, which we've picked up, more gold leaves, emmer seeds from autumn, palm saplings from autumn, oh, and glitter kelp and veiled mushroom from the undergarden. Natural aura. Ritual of the forest. There we go. Visualize. Nice. So how about right here? Yeah, that looks like it belongs right there. Up there, there, here. Like this. Awesome. And then we can use the gold powder. We need more. So let's cut some more of these guys down. Twenty-two is enough. There we go. And then any sapling? Oh, does it have to be an oak sapling? There we go. Complete. There's our ritual of the forest. We can let this guy grow naturally, or we can bone meal it to make it happen a little bit faster. But what I want to do now that we have the wooden statues, is work on this ancient sapling. So I'm going to let the tree grow naturally. We do need to go to the undergarden. So let's go ahead and make the catalyst, which is silver ingots, more gold inlays, and an aquamarine. Jeez. Okay, so let me clean up my inventory and make those gold inlays real quick. Four gold inlays, four silver ingots, and one aquamarine in the enchanting apparatus. Cool. We got everything that we need to make the scarab. Let's see, get rid of these. All right. Four. Four. Aquamarine. Cool. One ticket, please, to the undergarden. Let's see, I do have the stone bricks in my inventory. Let's make the portal over here uh, by our portal to Atum. We can put it down in the ground, right? Let's go here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And no, maybe it's because there's stuff behind it. Maybe the vines count as being inside. They do. The vines count it as being inside. And cool, you keep the catalyst. It doesn't waste. Let's put the catalyst in our inventory and let's head to, I was going to say Atum. Let's head to the undergarden. I've never been here before. Dude, this place looks awesome. It has purple fluids. Wow. There's so many particle effects. Ditch bulbs. Failed mushrooms. Haha. <laughs> that's that's what we needed. 
ditch bulbs and yeah glitter oh wait no we need glitter kelp not ditch bulbs so we're not done here yet <laughs> glitter kelp okay where am i gonna find glitter kelp i've never been here before definitely let's mark the portal uh so under garden portal All right. Kind of want to take some of this purple fluid with us. What is that? Clogrum ore. That's specific to the undergarden. Deep extraction. The kelp kind of sounds like it's going to be in this water, huh? Glitter kelp. Now we're done. <laughs> All right. So also, dude, these salt moths are reproducing a lot. Let's also go to Autumn to get some emmer seeds and some palm saplings. There's my camel. Alright, let's see. I know I left some emmer seeds in a bandit hidey hole over here. My diamond armored camel. Emmer seeds. There we go. Now we just need to find a palm sapling. Deadwood. I'm pretty sure that's going to be in one of those oases. That looks like it's water up here. What in the world? Oh, it's a quail. Let's see. This looks like an oasis up here on the mini map. Yes, it is. Is this a palm? Can I get a palm sapling from this guy? Palm sapling. All right. We have our palm sapling, our dates, uh, our emmer seeds, ditch bulb, veiled mushrooms. What are we missing? The serene blossom sapling. Let's see, we can just buy that from the weathered salesperson. Serene. Give me one of these. Cool. So let's get rid of the tree real quick. Alright. Emmer seeds. Let's let's try putting them in the incorrect order. Gold leaf date. We need another gold leaf. Gold leaf, date, palm sapling, glitter kelp, veiled mushroom, and what else? Is that all six? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the serene blossom in the middle. And it turns into a serene blossom. That's too bad. So we did it wrong, but we get more blossoms this way too. Or oh, wait, oops. That was close. I almost broke it. It has to be grown, and then it absorbs all of the stuff. So I messed up. Kind of. I almost cut the tree down. <laughs> so I was impatient. So ancient, we do have the ancient saplings. Nature's aura. We did the ebb and flow. All right, we got ancient log as a reward. And I believe we got a token of sorrow just now. Cool, because we did get joy and fear as quest rewards. So now we just need token of anger. Cloud in a bottle, fiery blossom sapling. We can buy it. Charge snowballs we can make. Komodo dragon spit. I haven't gotten any of these yet, but I know where the Komodo dragons are. All right, so let's see if we can do this ritual correct. 
let's grab the gold powder that we have. We'll go ahead, this will be the center, so here. We need one more, right? Two more. There we go. All right. So we need bomb sapling, gold leaf emmer seeds, one date, glitter kelp veiled mushroom. And we can use the, the serene blossom in the middle. All right, and this guy has to grow first before the ritual starts. There we go. And there's the ritual starting. So that's how it's done correctly. We have even more ancient saplings now. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep the series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full uninterrupted footage, you can go to my channel on Twitch at twitch.tv ddanicus. The VODs will be saved there.